Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories concerning the attacks of September the 11th. Malicious lies that attempt to shift the blame away from the terrorists themselves, away from the guilty. People are always asking me, yo, Gemini, what's your angle? Are you a devil or an angel? And I say both, as I continue to blame the Knights Templar and the Hospitallers. The real reason New York lost their town. Welcome back, guys. Today's June 26, 2011. This is Down Rabbit Hole. <clears throat> And I'm your host, Popeye, from federaljack.com. Today I'm joined by my friends, JJ, Will, and Bob. Boys, say hello. Oh. What's up, guys? Will? Oh, I'm not saying anything. Bob's just going to be a contrary person today. All right, Bob, well, are, you, are you playing the part of the skeptic for the rest of the show? Uh, say hello to my kitten. Meow. <laughs> could you uh, could you help debunk some of these conspiracy theories, Bob? Yeah, I, c- I can debunk them. Uh, I think nest, the- nest, nest, n- 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 nest, boom. Debunk them. Let's do it. I think he just did that. He, he nest, oh, nest, nest, just nest, nest. It. Yeah. Oh, I missed it. Ping right over my head. All right, sorry. And just in case anybody wants to know the guy's name, by the way. The, the the little the little portly skeptic it's that we're, we're talking about. His yes, his name Bob. is Bob. Bob Blaskowitz. Bob. <laughs> Be nice. No ad hominems. Don't make fun of his weight either. You know. No, he's, I he's should. He's skeptical yes, I... of eating healthy. He thinks that the whole eating healthy thing is a conspiracy. Hence, why he's a bit <laughs> overweight. <laughs> I I guess he he thinks it's okay to eat Burger King, right? <laughs> Oh, he doesn't apply the he doesn't buy the conspiracy theories about. <laughs> he doesn't I mean, look buy at that it. MSB, MSGPS. If you, <laughs> if you see the photos of this guy, you'll see what I mean. He's see, he's not a fan. Gluten? Are you kidding me? <laughs> conspiracy theory. That's. I wonder if, like, when he goes to bed at night, when you know, when he looks at himself in the mirror, I wonder if he says, "It's good to be a sellout." I, I just I, I gotta wonder. Do you think he's really a sellout, or is he just a schmuck? Uh, if he's if he's that much of a like I said before, schmuck. if he's not a sellout and he's that much of a schmuck, then he's really dangerous and should not be teaching children. I agree. <laughs> it's adult. as simple as he's, that. He's not an elementary school teacher. He, to, to be fair, he does teach college. Okay, but, but that's still well young. Okay. Teach yeah, but again, teaching in college is pretty much like teaching at elementary school level. But and though I'm not picking on the, but well, we know I, I, there I wouldn't kind of ever be a real school. conspiracy class in college where they showed you, you know, where they went and showed how that. I know really- professors that have broke out into 9/11 truth and JFK truth and stuff, and like yeah, Fetzer did it, uh, Barrett did it. I actually had a high school teacher that spent weeks on the Kennedy assassination. And really going in depth into that. And the guy was probably like an English teacher or something. <laughs> uh, he was a history teacher. But, you know, he was good. He actually exposed the stuff. And looking back, I, I bet that same teacher would teach 9-11 if he wasn't blacklisted by the education, you know. Well, you, you right, even say 9-11 truth and it's, oh, you gotta, you're one of them people. What, one of the people that likes truth? How dare you be a truther? We only allow liars in this school. One of my favorite lies about the 9-11 Truth movement is that the, vic- the 9-11 victims' families dislike the 9-11 Truth They started the 9-11 exactly. Truth movement. Exactly. Exactly. The 9/11- if it wasn't for the Jersey girls, I would have never okay. went. And It just, it's, you know. No, you're right, JJ. You're 100% right. They were they the were very the first, the absolute first thing that exposed me to 9-11 was watching those women talk about it. You know, one the of the questions that they just wanted that, answered. One of the famous lines that you hear repeated over and over, you see the video clip of a guy at, at the 9-11 commission hearings, and you hear him saying, uh, I think it was when Giuliani was uh, testifying, and he kept calling him out. And he said, ask him about the radios, ask him about this, ask him about that. And then they were, they, of course, the cops come over, and they're dragging him out. And this guy was a victim, a, fa- a 9-11 victim's family member. And he's the one that said, just remember, people, n- uh, your government funded and trained Al Qaeda, and he said it three times before they dragged, before they were able to drag him out. And of don't the room. forget, Giuliani could have saved a lot of lives by getting 
First of all, no Giuliani's radio a piece of crap. The radios contract. did not work. The FDNY were given radios that did not work. They were high band radios. At the time, we were I was a firefighter, so I remember this. Okay, we were dealing with the same problem the fire department I was on. We had low band and high band. Low band were the old frequency where you you know, you click on the mic and every police car would pick it up, every fire truck, every ambulance, they would hear everything down at the police desk. Okay? The high bands, they had it set so that the fire departments each had their own, the police had their own, um, the EMS had their own, each firehouse, because there were two different uh, houses, there was company one and company two, We would ha- each house would have their own uh, high band frequency so that you could communicate amongst yourselves and then amongst everybody else if you switched to all these other frequencies. They were making it really difficult. The old system worked just fine. But, of course, they, they had to play with it and try to put their fingers in. And then when you looked into it, there was people that, you know, that were making money in the, ba- out in the back door from the companies that were you know, making money. Everybody the involved was getting ready for 9-11 before it happened. Everybody who had interest in the security industry, big interest, not little guys that have you know, 300 shares in you know, Boeing. But Go look up guys. Promise. Like, just look at the Promise software. Yeah. Seriously, just go look up the go look up Promise software, and you. And most of the people that have researched it and, and written stories about it are dead. One of the only people that's still alive that wrote about it is Michael Rupert, and the only reason why he's alive is because he's in Venezuela. I seen him. Otherwise, on they probably would have killed him too. The other day. It, you know, he got shot at when he was still a detective. For the yeah, LSD. for exposing the DEA, right? The drug yeah, no, at that exposing, point, well, CIA, was the DEA. The CIA was running drugs in through L.A. and men yeah. Arkansas. And when he exposed it, he got a little too close to comfort, and they took a shot at him. Course, and I'm not but, saying that I believe everything. <clears throat> now Rupert talks about the whole peak oil myth, and I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's funded by, you know, if someone's funding him to do it or if he actually believes it. But the, the, the peak, peak oil is a myth, too. They know oil is abiotic. They know it. They know it. Peak oil was – Fletcher Prouty talks about peak oil. Um, there's a video on YouTube. You can see it. He talks about the meeting that he was at back in the 70s where um, Kissinger was there. And him and a couple other people came up with the myth of peak oil. So that they could raise oil prices and make tons of money, you know, just like Enron. You know, before Enron went down, back in like the two thousands and in ninety nine, they're like early two thousand. They had rolling brownouts in California. You know, brownout is yeah, you know, and we'll never have that evidence because where it's like was it? Back to the Stone Age. Well, it, it turns out that Enron, there was no elect- energy shortage. There was no electricity shortage. Enron did that on purpose because they owned the energy company. They exactly. did that purpose so that they could raise the price of electricity documents have since come out showing that enron um people in like enron higher-ups were in a meeting laughing about how they were sending the residents of california back to the stone age while raping them for more money for the electricity so there was no that evidence was in building seven so but do you see that there was no reason yeah dude Building 7, loaded with Enron evidence. Ro- loaded with evidence to show all this plus more. Well, that's why we had to pull it. Pull it! it just couldn't stand, uh, you know, just had to pull it. Look, all that, there was a lot more than just Enron evidence there. Just like there was a lot more, there was a lot of evidence right in that little hole, that giant, or that little hole in the middle of the Pentagon. There was some key evidence destroyed there. I mean, it's all just coincidental, obviously, according to. Well, you know where, where the the plane hit. Where, or, CS one hundred and one. Where the where the missile hit on the Pentagon because that wasn't a plane. It was a cruise CC. missile that hit the Pentagon. Okay, and that's not a no planer theory. That's a fact. They haven't. There was never any any evidence ever of a plane hitting the building. A hundred and twenty five foot wide plane doesn't fit into a sixteen foot hole. Impossible. And the official theory in story says that the wings folded back like a dragonfly as it went into this hole. <laughs> After it I already knocked I, down I three can't light make this, I can't make this up. And mind you, it flew at impossible levels along the ground that nine, uh, pilots for 9-11 Truth have already shown is physically impossible because the True. air, the lower you are to the ground, the more dense the air is. And the air 
up, up high is less dense, so they could fly at these super, you know, seven, eight hundred miles an hour. You can't fly at that at ground level. The air is so dense, it would literally tear the plane apart. So it's impossible. 500 miles an hour hitting a light pole would disintegrate that part of the wing. I mean, and that hit supposedly, allegedly, three, right? Two light poles. And it didn't destroy the light poles. It just knocked them over. The guy with the tax. I mean, job, on the face of it, that, it that just seems ridiculous. You to anybody that, that's right? ever gone out and whacked a stick with another stick. But you know that that the taxi cab that the quote unquote light pole landed on. Yeah, he changes his story every day. Yeah, well, some th- this guy interviewed him. I, I forget the name. I of did the, see the, the interview. guy who did it, that, but it's on. You can see it on YouTube. And the guy interviewed him, and the guy proves he he shows him the evidence that you're that he was lying. He's like, look, here's a picture of you. I know the spot that you said you were in his own car. You, you he was in the here. guy's yeah, car in his own car, and he's like, no, that's not me. And he's like, dude, that is you. Look, that's your car. And the guy's like, that's not me. And he's like, yes, it <laughs> is. It says taxi right there. Yeah, I did see that one. That's great. Exactly. So, look, dude, the, the evidence is out there. for When the government says, oh, we've already proven it. Why? Because Popular Mechanics did an article and then wrote a follow-up piece of crap book. Hey, man, you know why Gaddafi's got to go? Because Obama said so. So he got to go. Yeah. Obama can eat me and so can the rest of the New World Order. We're going to break, guys. We'll be back in a few minutes. It's down the rabbit hole. I'm your host, Popeye, from federaljack.com. Go check out my website and go friend us on Facebook and friend the Orion Talk Radio Network. Give us a thumbs up. 